new engineer, new rooms, new designs, new mechanics. So many new things. Proxy you lighting son of a gun. What have you done? I told you to stay put. You better have an explanation about this. We're running out of time. It's almost 6 p.m. I have to gather everyone back. Wait, what is that smell? Pizza? Chica. Give it a second. Oh boy, oh boy. And voila. Our pizza is served, my friend. Oh, this looks delicious, Chica. I'm gonna miss you cooking the pizzas every night. Why, thank you. And this is why we are having it now. Cheers. Now, we need to finish it before- What is going on over here? Oh, but- Hi Freddy. Is that pizza? Chica, I told you, we're just looking around the area, that's all. I'm sorry Freddy, it's just that. The reason why I made it, because after today, the next day, all of us won't be able to do anything. What are you talking about? During the day, we should be able to do whatever we want. Not during the night. Yeah, but not as much as we used to. You see, every day we would be stuck on stage. Singing or playing for the children. Then when it's closing time. Right. A day with no time for ourselves. And also the most important, to be able to spend time with you guys. We may not be able to move as much anymore, but we must accept it. We can take on control. Hey, don't be sad. What's really most important, that we have each other. We are still your friends, and we will always believe that. Then, promise, promise me that the gang won't split up. Yes, of course. I won't let that happen. I promise. We're all in this, together. Exactly. Well, now that you are here, do you want to try out my pizza? Yeah. I guess it's nice to have one. It will be a shame to waste them. I got you. Here. I think you will like this. I made it special. Thanks. Wow! It tastes good! What did you put on this pizza? Thank you. It's my very own secret recipe. You know, Chica, if we get lucky, they may give us an option to do whatever we want at night. I would really like you to teach me on how to cook your version of your pizza. Oh, of course I will, if we do. I will teach you, and I will tell you my secret recipe. I haven't tell anyone yet except for Cupcake. Even if I know, I couldn't be able to make it. Either way I wouldn't have let Chica to make them for me because she knows it better. I could have agreed more. Oh guys, I believe everyone can do it. Especially you. Hey maybe, if you can ask, if Bonnie and Foxy, if they want a slice. I almost forgot. 
We need to go back to parts and service now. Wait, what? what? But I thought you said... I know what I said. I was wrong. I checked out the office and I found a note. It was from Manager Max. He was sending information to the Night Guard. He also said in the note about that our systems will shut off at 6 p.m. From what I also heard, Foxy did something last Monday. I don't know what he did but he was up that night. Maybe he was the one who broke Bonnie's guitar. I'm afraid that could be the case. But we gotta move fast. Just throw away the pizza in. No, we want to finish them. Uh, okay. I'll gather the rest of the gang. You finish the pizzas quick. I will meet you back at parts and service. Hey Foxy, can I ask you something? What is it lad? How do you feel about having us staying on stage for the whole time? I'd say it's a bummer. Not only that we have no freedom during the night, but at least we are still together. Also, it isn't a big issue for me because I always stay inside of my phone pretty much all the time. Of course, every time. I think the only animatronic that couldn't stand being on stage for the whole time is probably Chica. That poor chicken wouldn't be able to last long without her pizzas. Yeah, that is pretty sad. But at least the kids will be able to play and support her. How do I get myself back? No one can see me or hear me. I'm just a ghost. Or maybe a shadow. There is gotta be a way. Every physical object I touch, I just go right through it. Got it very quick. My head. Oh no. I have to keep going. is happening. Let's go! It is now 4 to 5! So, why were you so curious? About what? You want to know if we open on Saturday, right? Well, I just only want to know when we open, that's all. Or, you are planning something. I remember the last time when we were still opened, before we closed. You promise your best buddy, Adam. Isn't his birthday coming this Saturday? Well, yeah. I was planning to set up his birthday party here on Saturday, but now I realize that we're closed on that day. Then, what did you promise? I promised that we will set up his birthday when our pizzeria reopen again. Or you really want to set up his birthday party tomorrow? By figuring out how to reopen our pizzeria? No, that's not what I said. You told him that we open on Saturday, when you know that we're not. How did you know that? Foxy, I have big ears. I could hear you guys talk from the distance. You were even gonna tell us about it, but you didn't. Why? What are you? I'll get it. There you are. Oh god, oh god. What can I do? I can't do anything. I just go through everything. There gotta be a way to...
Great. Now Mommy suspects me. Now what am I gonna do? What? It's that stupid voice. What does it want from me? It is a blessing for a fox to have a hand in determining his own fate. Hello, Foxy. Puppet, where is you? I'm just a spirit. I'm only in your head. The remnant has a good point. Remnant? The voices on your head are called remnant. They guide you when you have a problem. I don't need no guide to solve my problems. I already know what I'm doing. Who do you now? No, I don't know what I'm doing. I have no plan or anything but I'm about to break a kid's heart. Especially my best one. How about you tell them? Tell what? The truth. What good would that do? I can't. They will be mad at me and I'll be walking the plank. You're being irrational. They would understand this situation. But lying would not help. You think lying to them would solve this situation? Not only you break your kid's heart, you are about to break your friend's heart as well. So, you're saying I should've told them, as well, that I broke Bonnie's guitar? No, I wouldn't. You don't need to. You have already done that. Bonnie. I can't believe you, Foxy. It was you all along. No, Bonnie, listen, I... I knew you were lying to me. But you also lie about breaking my guitar. You. Yeah, but. You don't do that to your friend. You basically sabotage our band. Why would you do that? You were trying to kill the guard, were you? No, listen. Bonnie, it wasn't potentially my plan at all. None of this were. I did try to hurt the night guard, but. So you were trying to kill him. Oh, God. Let me finish. I want to give him pain to ensure that we are forced to reopen again, to pay his injuries. He could have sued us, you know that. He could have called the engineer to dismantle us. And now you're putting our life at risk. I know. I tried to do it without being spotted. But he saw me, so I quickly retreated. It was the only way I could get them to reopen. Okay, I'll admit it sounds stupid. I'm not doing this for myself, it's for Adam. And I need your help. Please, I'm sorry I lied to you and Freddy and Chica. I want you to understand. Bonnie? Are you even listening? Bonnie. Bonnie! Bonnie? Are you okay? <laughs> What the hell? You shouldn't have lied to me. It's always just one thing with you. Now I will destroy you. 